I made a commander deck with 97 wastes. And I hear you saying, but Noah, why? Well, what's the purpose of it? There are three words to describe why I made this deck. All right. Asserting dominance. Cabbage. All right. So you have other commanders like and decks like Muldroth of the Gravetide. You got swamps, islands, and forests. So you have black, blue, and green mana. And, it, you know, they say they want color mana. But in reality, they need color mana. They are pretty much just an addict for colors. And they can't live without it. And it's pathetic. It's just like those kids with their freaking vapes nowadays. You know, they're just addicted to them. And, you know, whenever I'm out and about and I see a kid with one of these vapes that looks exactly like this, I make sure to make fun of their lungs because I'm a good person. All right. Anyways, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. All right. So 97 wastes. We don't need color and we've ascended past the need for color completely. Now, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I already made this deck. Yes, but I kind of messed up that video uh, and I did it wrong. So I'm doing it again. Uh, what's the commander? We have Cody, Vesipholo, Velociraptor Codex. All right, so we can pay his cost using the wastes that we have. And then, using his ability, we can also get colored mana, which is really cool. And, Noah, did we not just spend the last 30 seconds talking about why color is bad? Well, with Cody, Velocifor, Velociraptor Codex, what is this? What is, well, this is an exception. All right, here's why. Colorless is a color. It, see, it literally has color in the name. And if you say, well, it has less in the name too, well, then you're being colorist. So how do you like them apples? All right. And also, furthermore, white and black are colors in Magic the Gathering, but they're technically just shades. So you don't have to be a color to be a color in Magic the Gathering. That's all I'm saying. All right. So we have Cody Velociraptor Codex. It is essentially just says, four mana, get more mana, next spell you cast, cast another spell. All right? That's all you need to know. And then the, it has a little caveat that says, you can't cast permanent spells. We don't worry about that. All right. We play Cody after ramping out. Then we wait a turn, and we play a waste. Then we wait another turn, and we play a waste. And then we tap Cody. We get Wooberg mana. And then next up, we have the next card, number two in the deck. Approach of the Second Sun. All right. And it says, if Approach of the Second Sun was cast for your hand and you've cast another spell called Approach of the Second Sun this game, you win the game. Otherwise, put Approach of the Second Sun on, it's over, blah, blah. Uh, so if you cast another one of them, you win the game. Also, you get seven life, which is pretty cool. All right. So Approach of the Second Sun is like a shoe, kind of. You need two of them to be useful. Unless you have one foot, then you only need to cast one Approach of the Second Sun. I am comedy incarnate. All right. So the second approach of the second sun, that must be played from the hand. But it's worth noting that the first approach of the second sun can be played from anywhere. All right. So now we got Wooberg, and we have our two wastes that we haven't tapped yet. Now we can play approach of the second sun, right? Uh, Noah, when did we get approach of the second sun? How is it in our starting hand? Well, our starting hand, you know, you get a starting hand, and you get seven cards. Let's say you didn't get approach of the second. So I'm just going to call it approach. It's too much of a mouthful. Well, then you can take a mulligan, get a new starting hand of seven cards, and then you just keep doing that again and again until your starting hand contains approach of the second sun. Now, whenever you mulligan, you have to put one more card back than you did the last time. So we're going to have to put all these back in the deck. But that's okay. Because even if our starting hand is just approach, then... Our deck is 97 wastes, so we're probably just going to draw from the deck and get a waste. And you can only play one land per turn anyways, so it doesn't affect anything. All right, so now we got Cody the Velociraptor, and we play Approach the Second Sun. And then its ability activates that says, well, now we exile cards from the top of our library until we exile one that costs a lesser mana value. That's an instant or sorcery. All right, and this brings us to card number three, Narset's Reversal. So let's say you got a cool card, and you want to cast that card twice. Well, let's say you have that card, you play Narset's Reversal, targeting that card, it goes back to your hand, then Narset's Reversal creates a copy of that card, and then you still have the card in your hand that you can still play. So you know you get double the bang for your buck. All right, so now we got Velociraptor, we tap him, we get Approach to the Second Sun, and now that ability activates, and it gets us another card. Bam, Narset's Reversal. And then we can only other cast that card in the deck because it's the only other card in the deck. Does this is this well explained? I hope so. 
All right, I'm a statistical mastermind. All right, so approach the second son, Narset's reversal. We get the copy of approach the second son. Then approach the second son goes into our hand, and then next turn we play. Actually, we have to untap Cody to play it because the colored mana. Then we tap him, and then we get all the mana stuff, and then we can play Approach of the Second Sun and win the video game. Touchdown, we win. All right, but wait, we can do even better than that. Serum powder. It does look like crack, but that's not the point. All right, well, maybe not mostly. Anyways, it lets you take additional mulligans, which increases your chance of getting Approach of the Second Sun. All right, so now your starting hand will more likely have that card. It increases the odds by about 520% that you'll get in your opening hand. Don't fact check that. All right. So then we have Velociraptor here. And with his ability, now it gets approached to the second sun, but it won't get Serum Powder because it's not an instant or sorcery. All right. So now we have these three cards, but there is a problem. All right. So let's say you draw Narset's Reversal. Now what? Well... When Narset's Reversal is in your hand, you just die. See, the thing with Cody is that you have to get the colored mana, it's too blue, and you just can't cast it. It just doesn't work. So what's the solution to this? Yes. Just don't do that. Alright. Literally 0% of viewers are subscribed, so subscribe. It's a big help. Alright, thanks for watching.